What is up? I'm Alana Turtle. So today we are wrapping up our box of Modern Horizons. We have 18 more booster packs. Uh, if you haven't checked our first part of the video, definitely go check it out. We had a huge hit, a foil mythic. I was super stoked about that. Let's go through the second half of the box. It feels still, uh, I still feel like we should be getting a bunch of more mythics and a good number of uh, the Horizon lands as well. Let's go into pack number one. We have a goblin token. And then this is the Force of Despair art. Snow covered plains. And here is a Eula, Queen Among Bears. I feel like people say this is going to be a bear commander. Lava Bella Sliver and Or Scale Guardian. Just see if there's any cool looking commons. So, uh, yeah, this set is really cool, really fun to open. Uh, the EV on Dawn Glare is still listing around 240. Kind of doubt in reality that high prices are kind of uh, going below the two, 200 mark. And uh, if you haven't got your box and you are interested in a box, you can check a link down below. There will be a eBay link for about one little over 180, as well as a drop link, drop.com, which you can get them as well. Um, if ooh, here is our first mythic for the open, more fun, boundless, kind of interesting card. Uh, but yeah, if you um, do want to check out that link for, I would kind of figure out what's the best way you can kind of like avoid paying taxes. I know like Amazon for where I live, at one point they had like 180 something, but after tax it actually wasn't worth it. So there's other places I can buy it for less than that. So yeah, a couple links down below, check, check it out around uh, 182 I believe. If you want to grab a box, we have a shapeshifter. All right, so we got one foil, and here is the Bizarre Trade Mage. Not a fan of that card. Talisman of Conviction and Villain Chainling. <laughs> Umazawa's Charm. That's a funny card. It's like a you get one charge for the Jite. Put our things off to the side. And all of our big hits. Uh, it's been a while since I opened Magic, so the, the pile organization is a little, a little, a little off. Alright, so so far I think it's going to be a big box. Just the fact that we did get a foil mythic. We got a ninja art card. Snow covered forest. And then tectonic reformation. We can move all of our rares up here. Cunning evasion. Sling gang lieutenant. And then Thundering Dijin. And a bunch of commons. Definitely the foil we're looking for could be that Urza. I think uh, DCG player lists the foil Urza as $200. Absolutely insane. This is the Lightning Skelemental. Very cool art. These these art cards, I feel like they won't be worth anything, but I do. I think it's a cool way to appreciate some of the better arts. And I think some of the ones I did pick are are the better ones. I feel like the swords for this set, none of them are that crazy, but I'm, I was always a fan of those. Kind of like when I first started uh, collecting. Or the, when I got into the game, it was during that uh, Mirrodin Besiege time frame. So there's a couple um, swords we had there. I do like these foil tokens. Uh, I was really happy to get the Merit Lodge one, even though Merit Lodge isn't even in this set. Oh, I guess there's like a Merit Lodge card, but I don't think it's not like it's not Dark Depths. Reap the Pass this is an interesting card. Return X cards from your at random from your graveyard to the hand. We say it, it says at random, but um, I mean a lot, a lot of decks like in my, like the Is It Phoenix deck, for example, I feel like that could be really useful as long as you don't hit hit a phoenix. You can just pull pull back all your cantrips and then just reuse them again, bring all your phoenixes back. Or even if you do get like a phoenix, you can just faithless looting it back out, back into the graveyard. We have a bird token. Not familiar with this one. What is that? 
Echo of Eons. Snow cover. I do like this, although, like, this almost looks like a more of like a melon thing. And then Hall of Heliod's Generosity. Put target enchantment card from the graveyard on top of the library. Alright, where's all those lands? Where's all those uh, horizon lands? Here is a foil angel token. The Sarah Planeswalkers. And this looks like someone from Star Wars. Oh wait, this is Yogmith. We got a we got the we did pull a Yogmith last video. Definitely check out that. We got one insane hit. And here we have our next mythic, Season Pyromancer. These Pyromancers are always about discarding cards. Uh, enters the battlefield, discard two cards, and then draw two cards. Ooh, interesting you discard first. So if you don't have two cards. I think you, you do that in that order. Discard nothing, maybe. Draw two cards. For each non lock card, you discard this. Oh, it's because you want to create elementals, I guess. Exile season per from your graveyard. Create two. Hmm. Card sounds okay. Nothing about that screams very powerful. Defile. Ooh, that's a pretty cool card. Each swamp you control. Should be pretty good. I actually could see that being um, pretty good for a mod or even legacy. It's pretty good removal. As long as we have some swamps. Elemental. Not sure what you are, but it's pretty cool art. Snow covered mountain. See, like the snow covered island, it look looks very similar. <laughs> Ooh. Double tap on the Cabal Therapist, the card that was spoiled in the very beginning. feel like the fact that it's a creature just makes them so susceptible to removal. So even though the Cabal Therapy card is very strong and it's, I think it's just slower. At the beginning of your pre-combat phase you may sacrifice. Oh, so I guess you can kind of do, you don't have to tap or anything so you can do it on the turn you play it. Uh, but you do have to sacrifice a creature. I guess you could just sacrifice. I guess Cabal Therapist sacrificing himself is kind of like Cabal Therapy on your on your main phase one. Snow covered mountain again, and Hog Hogak, Arisen Necropolis. Can't spend mana to cast this spell. It's a pretty interesting card. Squirrel nest. I think it'd be hilarious if, like, there's a the the deck that can't beat anyone that no one can beat that's very overpowered is based on squirrels. That'd be hilarious. That's like a that's that would be like the motorhomes or like the trains being overpowered in Yu-Gi-Oh. It's like, oh, all my strongest dragons can't beat this train, or you know, the planeswalkers are being overrun by the squirrels. I did just pull this card. Can't remember his name. Snow cover island? Yeah, it kind of looks like a mountain kind of thing. And then Echoes of Eons, another myth. Wow, we're getting a lot of mythics. Where are those horizon lands? Each player shuffles their deck and graveyards into the library, then draws seven cards. Kind of like reset the reset the hands in libraries. Not sure why that'd be useful. Goblin Matron. Man of War. Classic card right there. Slivers. Do like the idea that they're bringing back slivers. Yeah, reminder, if you just happen to come across this video because you're a Magic Gathering fan, you happen to be a fan of Pokemon as well, or things like Yu-Gi-Oh! or other trading card games, definitely be sure to subscribe to I Want a Turtle, our YouTube channel, to, as we do post Pokemon videos essentially every single day, Tribute Mage, and obviously we do Magic the Gathering as well. Usually when a new set comes out, we'll do some, some openings. Oh, that last card was a. Uh, that was just printed in uh, Ultimate Masters. Why is that being printed again so quickly? Alright, let's see. We got a Goblin token. Something like Thousand Knives or something. No, that's a Yu Gi Oh card. Snow Covered Mountain. And Cordial Vampire. Uh, vampires back too, kind of. Bastion. Sliver.
There it is. The Reckless Charge. Reprinted again. All right, let's get some of those lands. Where I want that fiery islet. Islet? I think that's how you say it. Soldier token. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Cool art. Snow-covered swamp. That's like a very boring art for a full art land. Here we go. Waterlogged grove. Our next one. Pay one life to tap for green or blue, but more probably instead you'll probably sacrifice this and draw a card. Okay, there we go. Second Horizon Land. King of the Pride. That looks like Domri. Okay, handful packs left. Spirit token? Umazawe's Charm. Snow Covered Island. And an Altar of Dementia. Blizzard Tricks, I was gonna say Baleful Tricks. Oh, I really want that Ice Fang Quaddle. I think that card's really good. I was thinking about buying a bunch of them, but I felt like the price was... Couldn't find anything at a good price. Uh, it's kind of like Baleful Strix, only it's Death, death Touch requires uh, three or more Snow Permanents, which it is one. But it also has Flash, which is huge. Foil Elemental Token. Ooh, some kind of witch card. The eyeballs. Snow Cover Plains and Endling. Not to be confused with Brightling from Battle Bond. And I also want a uh, a foil foil snowland. That'd be pretty cool. Alright, two packs left. Let's get one more of the Horizon Lands. Call it a day. Call it a box, I guess. Elemental token. Pretty cool art right there. Snow cover forest and sisse. The Weatherlight Captain. Alright, and our last pack. Come on, two of those, only two of those lands, that's pretty bad. I still want a foil, a foil art. Or foil, full art to land. And. Snow Covered Swamp, and boom! Alright, we did get a foil owner of Rage. Ah, then a collector of. All right, so we only did get two of the land cycle, which is kind of disappointing for the box. We did get three mythics out of this side. Echo of Eons, Season Pyromancer, and Morophon. And then a water, and then a waterlogged grove. Sorry about that. Uh, let's see if we get anything other, anything else that's pretty cool. Nothing too crazy. And the rest of the rares uh, but definitely check out the first video if you haven't seen it first part of the box we did pull a insane card foil mythic um, so thanks for watching guys thanks for all the support as always like comment subscribe all down below and uh, yeah check out those links if you do want to buy a box you uh, post a couple links uh, eBay and drop uh, we can get it uh, about like 180 or 182 I think uh, try to find if you can in your state if you can get it without tax that would be huge uh, and pretty get some good savings right there uh, I think the EV dongler has a 240 unlikely you can get 240 out of it but hey it's worth a try and uh, actually I'll take a quick uh, pass at the TG, TCG player app see what we pulled all right guys so we did amazing as you can see hopefully I'm able to do this editing uh, we did get to 278 so yeah, even though we only got two of the Horizon Lands, uh, we got some good mythics in the, you know, a bunch of things in the teens. Uh, let's see, what are some of the other big hits? The Hogak, that's quite, quite a good hit, almost 10 bucks. And yeah, the Renin 6, huge hit. Force of Negation, absolute monster of a rare. Prismatic Vista, Nurturing Peatland, so that's the other uh, land cycle we got. And then the one that really made us, so I feel like all the cards, all the mythics and rares brought us up to about basically 200. And then that foil Yogmoth Thran Physician, $80 card right there, brought us to 278, or no, 276, or uh, about 277. So uh, very good opening right there. Um, 
yeah that was our first box maybe we'll open another one i'm not sure we'll kind of see how this video does uh but yeah two 276 awesome and so definitely if you want to grab a box see the links down below for drop in ebay um you can get them for about 182 and this one yeah value 276 <laughs> super happy with that result uh thanks for watching as always like comment subscribe all down below i'm wanted turtle and i'll catch you guys next time get out of here